Welcome to Blender. What if I told you that when you make a model in Blender, you could simply grab a paintbrush like this one here, pick a color like I've done over here, and immediately just start painting on your object? Well, you really can. And it's called texture painting. And here's how you do it. Let me go ahead and revert back to where I was before I started painting. So revert. Yep. Here's a simple object. Now there is a texture painting tab at the top. If I click on that, you immediately have a paintbrush tool, you have a color palette, and you have your object, and you can, oh, you can do nothing with it. I can scrub all I want. I'm not getting any color on this. I must be skipping some steps. Let's take a look. Over here, this will give us a clue as to what's going on. This is our UV image map. Your model still needs to be unwrapped before you can paint on it. And I can see something that's been unwrapped, but it looks like the six sides of a cube. This object has way more than just six faces. So clearly that's not the image map that we need or the UV map. So before texture painting your model, your best bet is probably to go into just UV editing and go into uh, edit mode here if you're not already there. Select all of your faces. They're selected all the way around. And then go to UV and try one of the unwrap options. What you're looking for is to get each of the faces uniquely identified in your UV map over here. You don't want any face representing two faces um, because then if you paint on one, you'll end up painting on both at the same time, which is generally not what you're gonna want. So I could just unwrap and that's what we get here, which is our six faces. So more than one face represented at a time, they're stacked. Um, I could project from view, which we've done in the past, but that's kind of a weird projection, and we have overlapping faces again, so not what we're looking for. I'm going to do the smart UV project in this case, and it's going to create a new face anytime the angle exceeds 66 degrees, and you can adjust this to be whatever you want. In this case, we could easily go with 90 degrees, since they're all 90 degree corners. But I'm going to hit unwrap. And now you can see all of the faces are individually laid out. And so now I can go back to texture painting. And now with a color selected, maybe not pink on pink, that would be bad. Um, how about yellow? If I paint, we would expect something to show up. And I am painting, nothing is showing up. Nothing is showing up here, nothing is showing up over there. There's one more step you gotta do. The paint gets stored in something called a texture slot. So if you go to texture slots and there's no texture listed here. Hit the plus sign and just choose base color. I know there are other options, but for what we're trying to do right now, just choose base color and then add. And when you do that, you have now basically an image over here on the left that represents your unwrapped object over here on the right, and you can paint to your heart's content. So you can easily throw on little details like the pupils of eyes or things like that. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind, you have to save this. This is still considered an image that's wrapped around your model, just like we wrapped a submarine in a helicopter. You're just creating that image from scratch in Blender. And one way to know that is up here, there's an image menu and there's a little asterisk next to it. That means this image has not been saved yet. And if you go over here to where it used to say texture slots, it now says Material base color, if you click down, you have the option to save all images. If you don't save this image, what's going to happen is the next time you close and then reopen Blender, this image will not have been saved and it will no longer be mapped to your object. And there goes all of your extra painting details. So make sure you save your image. And using the base, uh, the basic name that it already gives you is fine, unless you want to do something more specific. Put it where you want to put it. In this case, it's going to my desktop and hit save. Now, here's the other thing. Unless you want to keep track of that image and move it around with you everywhere you go where, it, where you take this Blender file, it's an external piece of data. So you should also go to the file menu, go to external data, and make sure you're automatically packing those external resources. That way, this image travels with your Blender file. You don't have to worry about moving them um, separately. And that's it. With that all done, you can now paint your textures on here all you want. You have the ability to 
Um, soften these edges. You have the ability to smear them. You have the ability to clone one area into another. You can use the fill bucket. Fill is kind of interesting. Um, fill kind of fills the whole thing, um, unless you're working over here in a closed in area, and then you can fill just that closed in area. So it's kind of a nice way to reset the color on your shape if you're looking to do that. Um, I'm just going to go back here and let's see what else didn't I cover yet. Let me grab a new color. Oh, I know. Um, so that's a very hard, sharp edge right there. That's because don't forget you have your radius, you have your strength, just like sculpting tools. Um, you have brush settings, you have texture settings, texture masks, strokes. You, so you can stabilize a stroke as you would with uh, typical 2D drawing tools. So you can see that working there. Um, you also have fall off, and that's how I'm getting that hard, sharp edge. Because by default, um, I believe the edge is smooth, so you get um, a fuzzy edge. And I had already come in and set that. Um, to constant so it would just be all color and then nothing um, but those are all things that you can play around with to get a feel for texture painting but that's a quick and easy way to get some color on your model uh, without having to find or make a perfect image that you then import in and then wrap around your model so have fun with that good luck